hello my people welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my match review between aston villa and everton aston villa 3 everton 0 and that was in the second half because the first half nothing really happened and the second half oh my goodness i'm gonna focus on my own brother leo belly <laughs> i told you the boy is going to be a huge success in the premier league many people been doubting talking about the premier league is so hard for him i said you know what the boy been suffering with a lot of injuries lately in germany but his first and second seasons in germany he was on top of the world back then we didn't even know kai harvard we didn't even know jadon sancho christian pulisic because why because of leon bailey he was there right on top better than anybody in that age you know bracket but because of some injuries because of some poor in form to be honest with you he kind of disappeared from the riders but right now leon bailey is back back in the big stage back in the premier league the best league in the entire world and Bailey is going to show people what he can do wow two goals <laughs> in the space of i don't know how many minutes he came on like in 60 60th minute something like that and he went off again in like 84th minute and ashley young took his place i didn't really understand the change by the way maybe he got a knock or maybe because the job was already done and the manager was like oh we have to save him and give ashley uh ashley young few minutes here but it's all good because leon belly did what he was supposed to do the first goal was a little dodgy one you couldn't really tell if he touched the ball but you know if 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 the ball touch uh, touches me the last and then i'm gonna claim the goal the goal right so yeah it was his goal you like it or not you know gonna take that away from him right and the second goal man just to confirm that i'm here and i don't care about dodgy goals you you accept it or not i'm gonna show you that i'm here to win <laughs> what a goal right in the middle boom a bomb <laughs> the goalkeeper couldn't even see it man the goalkeeper was going to die <laughs> leon bailey man how can you do that to a goalkeeper how can you do that the goalkeeper almost died he didn't even see it he just heard the bomb at the back of the net of, of the net boom it was already there what a goal and what a celebration to his friends I'm not gonna get to to that because I don't know much about uh, that friend of his. But Leon Bailey announced himself in the Premier League, the, and the interview after that, after the game, was as interesting as his second goal. <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, I'm here to announce myself to the Premier League," you know, thanking his family and all that. Very good, beautiful to see. So. The message that I have right now, my brother, Leon Bailey, we're going to play against you again on Wednesday. That is going to be at the bridge again. Like a couple times in few weeks, couple times in two weeks, if I can say that, because we just played them. And then we're going to play them again. You know what I mean? So uh, in the Carabao Cup this time, I think that Leon Bailey is going to start that game. I'm confident, I'm sure, and I know that the, the, the manager took him out just so he can save some energy for the game against Chelsea. So I have a message, brother. This is the brotherhood, right? Brother to brother, okay? On Wednesday, be poor. <laughs> Don't score against Chelsea. Don't score about, uh, against your club because Leon Bailey is a Chelsea fan. For people who don't know, we discovered him years ago. When we went to uh, Central America somewhere for, you know, annual Chelsea recruitment slash commercial tour or whatever, we discovered Leon Bailey, a Chelsea fan. You know, you can see him with Chelsea uh, 
a shirt and all that but hey it's business man you can be a chelsea fan just like Jadon sancho but you play for man united if chelsea don't want you and then you're gonna play for another team because you are a professional you're not gonna wait for chelsea your entire life you know what i mean he need to play football but this brother almost signed for chelsea football club and his dad made it almost impossible for Chelsea to sign him because of the demand that he made back in the day. I've already made many videos about it, so I'm not going to repeat what I've already said. But everybody knows that we almost signed Leon Bailey. And who knows? This is football, man. Anything can happen. He just signed for uh, Aston Villa. And we could go for him if we need uh, somebody in that position and but it's gonna be difficult though because he can play different positions here and there but in those positions we still have you know great great players at the moment and also in the future because the academy also producing some great players but the end of the day, I just want to see Leon Bailey fit and ready and enjoying his football in the Premier League. Good luck to you and congratulations to you, by the way, for the two goals. But on Wednesday, we are coming for you, brother, because this is about my team. This is about Chelsea Football Club. And uh, we're going to be enemies for 90 minutes. And when we beat you and we eliminate you from the Carabao Cup, we can become friends one more time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share, do the rest. In this channel, we talk about football, not only one team. We talk about every team, every color. Feel free to join us for uh, live streaming almost every single day. You can call for free. Everything is free here. You don't have to pay anything. Just come and have a conversation with us. We love banter. We love everything. You know, we share. Respectfully, of course. Leon Bailey for Villa to lift the roof off. Have some of that. A first goal for Aston Villa for the substitute. Leon Bailey. The new darling of the whole team. And Villa are taking Everton to the cleaners in the second half. Aston Villa three. Everton nil. What a ball from Danny Ings. And do you know what? Bailey just said to himself, I'm going to back myself again with pace. First touch, look how narrow Godfrey is. He's got a long way to go. He's jogging, now he's sprinting, and now he's not going to catch him. And he just settles himself. He doesn't rush onto the ball. The first touch does it for him. The header, just away, and now settle. Bang! Absolutely brilliant.